In the modern web dev world, we have the luxury of having a bunch of different options for how we can quickly spin up some docs. If you're an Astro fan, maybe it's Starlight. But Nextro, which is built on top of Next.js and uses MDX, is compelling for not only how quickly and easy you can spin up the docs, but how great of the UX it provides. This is what I've been using for my documentation sites like NextCloudinary, which gives me as an individual maintainer a really easy way to manage and provide information to the developers. So let's just dive right in for a new site. When you're in Nextra, you kind of have two options where you have a documentation theme and a blog theme, and you can even create your own custom theme, but we're going to go with documentation, of course, where now you have two options where we can start off from the next docs template, or you can install it fresh as a new project. Now, I personally prefer to just start it off from the template as it makes it a lot easier to use. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this URL and I'm going to use it as a Next.js template. And in my terminal, I'm going to say npx create next app. I'm going to pass in minus E for the examples flag. I'm going to paste in that URL for the GitHub repository. Then I'm going to add one more option and I'm going to name my project, my docs site. Once that's ready, I'm going to navigate into my new docs site. I'm going to run npm run dev. I'm going to open up that local host and we can see as easy as that. We now have our new docs site. So if we start to navigate around, we can kind of see some of the features that come out of the box with this, such as if I navigate around, we can see some of the elements and we can even see that we can do things like manage state if we want to create custom components, but we can even search for through our documentation, or if I wanted to look for this external component, we can see that it pops right up and it allows me to easily navigate. And we could probably expect this from most starter templates these days, but we can see that we can select our dark mode theme and it looks just as good in dark mode as it does in light. I prefer light mode, but that's one of the compelling things about Nextra for me is not only is it very functionally, uh, it has a lot of features inside of it, but it also looks really good and is a great way of communicating information in a clean way. So let's see how we can actually start customizing this thing. Looking inside the code, we can start to see how the project is actually structured, where we do have a components directory, but that doesn't really have much in it right now. That's just the counters example that we saw earlier, but we have our pages directory, which has all the informational pages like our homepage, and we can see that it's just MDX getting added to the page. In order to have more advanced ways of controlling this sidebar, we have this meta.json file, which we can see all the pages are listed out, as well as the information for each, and maybe even the way that we actually present that information. But as we can see, we get additional options when we're actually defining these out. We can specify the type of file or page that this is. And we can see about, for instance, is considered a page, which means that it puts it up in the top level navigation, not necessarily the sidebar. And in that navigation, we can even provide external links such as contact, which would then, of course, go to that external link, which in this case goes to the creator of Nextra. But before we try to start messing around with any of this, if we scroll down even further, we have this theme.config file, which is going to give us some more options for the UI such as this GitHub link and the Discord icon, where if I want this to go to my eventual site, I wanna have this at github.com slash Colby Fayok, where it's gonna be my docs site. And while of course this site isn't quite available yet, we can see if we click it, it'll go to that link. Or if I wanna update the chat link to my Space Jelly Discord, we can see clicking it is going to start opening up that invite. Now, the nice thing about the logo is this is gonna render out as a React component, so I can really put anything I want in there. But for now, let's just add this as my docs. And we can see immediately it updated. But if I wanted an icon to go along with it, such as maybe I want to include a rocket and I'm going to copy this JSX and I'm going to paste it in right before my docs here, we can see that while it needs a little bit of styling, it dropped right in. Or if I add a few styles in there, I think we're good to go. If we head to the next site, we can see all the options under the theme configuration, like some of the more compelling options, like being able to customize our SEO, as well as how our head tags are actually rendering. But we also get some simpler options for how we can customize our theme, where it provides a hue or a saturation, which isn't necessarily as intuitive. Maybe we could provide a hex or something. But if we change this hue, such as if I wanted to make it more like a purple, we can see that I can grab this 277 and I set my primary hue to 277. We can see that my doc site was updated to that new purple. So how about actually updating some of the content? So if I head back over, let's start off with the home page. On the home page, I want to provide something a little bit more interesting and visual. If we look in the Nextra doc, similar to the theme, we get a lot of options for how we can customize the actual page. Now, a lot of this has to do with how it's actually organized inside the sidebar. But if we get down to the advanced section, we have some options for the theme components as well as the layouts, where we can see that we get this raw layout as well as a full layout, where raw is going to not inject any styles as it typically does, and full is just going to give us more of a full width layout. Now we set that configuration inside of this meta.json file. But first, we need to actually start to break down this section where I'm going to define an object for the configuration and we define our title as our introduction. But then if we define our theme options for this page, we can say that we want the layout to be raw. Now, if we look at the site, we can see it was exactly that and we don't get any styles along with our content. 
But if instead I just want to have a full width layout, I don't want it to be completely bare of styles. Let's make this instead full. And we can see to start, we have our content back in here with all the styles, but it made it full width as opposed to some of the other pages where we can see that we have this sidebar. But we can even start to remove some of the other elements, such as if we want to get rid of this sidebar, along with some of these other options, such as breadcrumb, footer, sidebar, table of contents. Let's set sidebar to false, and we can see that we get it full width. I probably also don't need this pagination, so I'll also set my pagination to false. We can see this is cleaning it up a lot, so now I have full flexibility for how I actually build the content and styles inside of this section. Such as if I want to add a hero banner, how about if I create a new component, I can export a new constant called hero, let's set this equal to a new component, where maybe I wanted to drop an image in there, so I imported CLD image, and then I actually rendered this out on the page. We can see how easy it was to actually add a component, or maybe I also want to create a wrapper for all my docs such as if I want to contain the layout. And while I probably don't want to do inline styles, I probably want to install something like Tailwind, which is probably for another video. I can now take this wrapper and actually start to wrap all of my content with it. And we can see everything is nicely contained. I can even start to add some text on it. And while this is just a silly, simple example, we can really start to see how our layout will come together for our homepage in whatever way that we want that to look while still being able to provide access to the other documentation that is in the more organized and structured format which is just really easy to create all the different pages that we need for all of our different content, where then we can start to tap into even some of the built-in components that Nextra provides, like the tabs that are really nice and easy to drop in, or simply rendering a table, which can be a critical component for being able to provide reference documentation. Or maybe that critical component for your docs is being able to show some dashboard visualizations, such as maybe usage statistics. So let's see how we can do that with Tremor.